Hey guys, winners here. Um, that means that the lady on the two. Um, just thought I'd like to um, share a video on how to tie a weed fly to catch them. Um, it seems to be a good alternative to um, real weed, and they uh, last a lot longer. Um, the material I'll be using is uh, the Taiwo uh, weed dub. It comes in uh, olive. Brown, uh, green, um, mixed, and a couple of other colours, I think. Uh, I'll be tying them on a Gamagatu panfish hook, size 8. Um, other than that, it's, um, it's pretty easy to tie. Um, so here we go. Start to wrap the thread up a fair bit. It's up to you how you feel that it's secure or not. And then I normally like to do the thread bag up um, probably an eye thickness, leaving a gap there, like an eye thickness. And then I just trim the excess off. I get like a little tiny ball at that roll it up and then roll it again so it looks like a sort of like a cigar shape and then I'll put it on the hook do a couple of loose threads and then two tight ones uh, flip it around like that and just repeat, roll it up, and then same thing like a cigar, put it on top, a couple of loose threads like that, and then a couple of tight ones like that, and then swing it back around, fold the material over, and then sort of push against the thread that you've just put in the middle which sort of locks it in and then just put a nice few wraps on the end you don't have to do as many as what I do but I just like the, the look of it, it looks pretty Uh, take end off. Um, I'm just using UV uh, bone dry solar res resin on the on the end. Um, you could use head cement, either or. I just like using this stuff. It's quicker. Take it out of the vise. Got a bit of a fluff up. Get any strain wheels out and stuff like that. And I like to sort of just grab it, just grab it behind the behind the hook ends and just trim off. Like that. And then you can see. That's it guys. Weed fly. Happy um catching.